Israel's Prime Minister has warned of a prolonged military campaign in Gaza, as it saw one of its heaviest nights of shelling since the conflict began. Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel would continue to act until it had achieved its aim of destroying militant group Hamas's network of underground tunnels. Israel made 60 airstrikes on targets in Gaza overnight including TV stations and the house of a key Hamas leader. It said militants had launched three rockets at Israel. At least 13 Palestinians are reported to have been killed in the overnight attacks, including six victims in one house in the Buraji refugee camp, while Israel's army lost 10 soldiers in the past 24 hours. Officials say more than 1,100 Palestinians, most of them civilians, have been killed in the fighting since 8 July. Israel says 53 of its soldiers and three civilians, two Israelis and a Thai worker, have been killed. Painful day early on Tuesday, Israeli aircraft fired at the unoccupied house of former Hamas Prime Minister Ismail Haney, while Hamas TV and radio stations were also hit. Three rockets were fired from Gaza, with one rocket successfully intercepted and two hitting open spaces in central Israel, Israel's military said. At least ten people, eight of them children, were killed in blasts in Gaza City on Monday afternoon, Palestinian health officials said. It is unclear if they were killed by an Israeli attack or a misfiring militant rock.